Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Andrew here. The topic of today's video is my top five MCAT mnemonics that I would suggest to people that I'm either tutoring or just friends that I would give suggestions for in terms of really high yield mnemonics that I found useful while preparing for the MCAT. So without further ado, let's get started. So at number one, I have the mnemonic salty banana or Nokia. And this is for the sodium potassium pump used for action potentials. First off, I would like to explain the salty banana reference. So if you think about it, you're pouring salt on the banana, you have salt on the outside or sodium, and then you have potassium or the banana on the inside. Another mnemonic that some people use is Nokia, and they can, you can think about this as sodium as N out for the first two letters of Nokia, and then K potassium in, so N-O-K-I, and then the last A just stands for the ATP that's used when the protein does the swapping of the sodium and the potassium. At number two, I have a snowdrop, and snowdrop can be really useful because S-N-O-W corresponds with the letters D-R-O-P in terms of the different blots that you use to isolate the different biomolecules that you would want to purify. So for example, you would have S, which corresponds with DNA. So southern blot corresponds with the presence of DNA. Then you have N for northern blot, and that corresponds with RNA. And then O doesn't mean anything, so we can omit that. And then you have western blot, which then correlates with P, which is proteins. And so I remember on this section, if a passage is particularly asking you what type of blot you would use, just write out the acronym snowdrop, correlate what letter it corresponds with, and then that should definitely make your life a little bit easier in terms of just memorizing and wrapping your mind around the different plots. At number three, I have another biology slash biochemistry mnemonic, and this is for the different stop codons. There are three stop codons that you should be familiar with. It goes UAA, UAG, and UGA. A good way of remembering this is you are annoying, you go away, and you are gone. It sounds kind of funny in your mind at first, but you can kind of tell it to yourself as like a little bit of a story. You're telling somebody that they're really annoying, they're going away, and then they're gone. So you are annoying, you go away, you are gone. At number four, once again, another bio biochem one, but I found this to be really helpful and I originally learned this through my biochemistry class. And it's fairly common, but um, I believe most people should know it. It's the acronym PURE AS GOLD, and this differentiates the differences between purines and pyrimidines. So this is helpful because if you remember your purines as adenine and guanine, you can simply remember your pyrimidines as the other three. And for my last bio slash biochem mnemonic that I found to be really helpful was remembering the catalytic efficiency of an enzyme. This can be really handy when a question may ask you which catalytic efficiency is higher given the certain conditions of a protein. And so the mnemonic goes, the cat jumps on top of the mouse. And here the M and the cat are heavily emphasized because the catalytic efficiency is equal to K cat over KM. And it's easier to remember with the mnemonic, right? Because if you have the cat jumping on the mouse, you know that K-cat has to be on the numerator and then K-m has to be on the denominator. So I know this was a little bit of a shorter video, but hopefully this was helpful for you guys and hopefully this can give you guys some, some ideas of mnemonics that might be helpful for your studying. And if you do want to see more content like this, just shorter rapid fire mnemonics or short tips, let me know in the comments below. And as always, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.